Pretty much your favorite subject and mine. We are doing drugstore alternatives, cheaper and better, buy this, not that. What we can look to as dupes at the drugstore. I'm so excited to be able to share these with you. Before we do, I wanna tell you that everything I have on, including the makeup and the jewelry and all of that will be at the end of the video, so you can go take a peek at that. Totally up to you. We also have a numbering system on my channel where a number comes up on the screen when I talk about any of these products and that number will correspond down in the description box to that product. So all you have to do is remember the number on the screen, go down there and look in the description box. Next to it will be all the products with the colors that I'm talking about and the links if you wanna shop that way. It just makes things a lot easier. All right, let's get into these super fun products. I want to start off with something that I actually learned about from all of you. When you guys tell me I go out and I buy that product and I really do put it to the test. So this is my ride or die hairspray for the past at least 25 years. I've been using this for as long as I can remember. My sister told me about it and I've never quit using it. It's the Kendra Volume Spray 25. This was their very first product and they've been going strong ever since. This is a hairspray that will actually hold my stick straight hair with a curl when I'm not sweating, which I'm sweating all the time lately, it seems like with menopause, but take that or leave it as it may be. This is a fantastic hairspray. It really does hold my style in place for the day. One of the things I will say about this product though, is that it has a tendency to get clogged in the nozzle up here with the spray. And you would think for it being a higher end product and it being on the market for 25 years, they could get the nozzle right. Just one of those things that I have a pet peeve about. However, I recently went in search of what you told me about, which is the generic value products at Sally's Beauty. And this one is the Volumizing Spray. It says, compared to Canva Volume Spray, finish hairspray with super strong hold. And that's what it is. Now, they got the nozzle right in this one and I have not had it clog. It is the exact same product. I actually think I like it a little bit more. I am still kind of along the lines of an 80s girl that does like my hair held strong, but I don't like the crunchiness of that we used to have when we used Aquanet. We had some strong, crunchy hair, but this is a pretty good spray that doesn't have to be crunchy at all, and I love it. So the price point is there where you're saving yourself several dollars, and it definitely is a great alternative to the original Kenra spray. Let's stick with hair for just a second. In IGK, IGK is a fairly expensive brand, I'm sure all of you would agree, but they really have some really exceptional hair products. But I found this one probably in the past three months. This is the IGK Body Language. This is for body in your hair, if you have fine limp hair like I do. This is the Rice Water Plumping and Thickening Mist. Now, any product that I put in my hair that I put too much of is gonna weigh it down. But when I put this on and I put it on while my hair's wet and then go ahead and blow dry my hair, I really love how voluminous my hair feels. It feels like it's got twice the volume of what my hair really does when I don't have anything in it. And I've, I've loved this. I've used it like crazy. But I was on Amazon and just kind of browsing and seeing what was on there and, you know, looking at this product because I was wondering if it was going to be on sale for Black Friday. Well, guess what? I came across this right here. Let me get my glasses. This is from Seven Minerals. That's the company. This is the Rice Water Hairspray with Biotin, Keratin, Caffeine, and Rosemary. Now, if you know anything about hair, Keratin is fantastic for it. Biotin is fantastic for it. Caffeine can stimulate the hair follicle and rosemary can really help with hair growth. So I was so excited to find this. It is pretty much a dead on alternative for the IGK. Now the IGK does have a little bit more in there, but when you work it out, this one from Seven Minerals is still saving you a bit of money. So if you don't have the money to shell out and try this and not knowing whether or not you really like it, you might really like to try this one. Fermented products are really good for our skin and our hair and all of that, especially for moisture and body and just making everything look really smooth and plump. I also wanna to talk to you about the Urban Decay 
Hydromatic Glow Hydrate Tinted Glow Hydrator. Now, when I first got this, I thought it was going to be very thin and it wasn't going to work on my skin. I got a really good color. And also, I love the coverage on it. I don't feel like it was just a tinted moisturizer. I feel like it was so much more than that. I actually only have one coat of it on this side of my face, but I do have the dupe for it on this other side of my face. I really love that it still gives you a glow without making your, your face so glowy that it shows up texture or anything. This one does have some fantastic ingredients like marula oil and kombucha extract kombucha extract in it so it does have some skin loving ingredients in it but those two are really good hydrators but you know what as i was looking in and you guys know that i have fallen back in love with this this past year from l'oreal the infallible pro glow i love the fact that this again gives you wonderful coverage as you can see it's covered all of my imperfections without giving you the texture that glow products can sometimes give you the, this one and the Pro Matte were really good and mixing them together if you're an oily skin person, I just think that that would be magic. So this was a great substitute for the Urban Decay and I thought that their consistency was very similar. Their wear time is very similar, about 10 to 12 hours depending on you know what you're doing through the day, how much you touch up, that kind of thing. No break apart as far as on my skin you know again i sweat so much these days with menopause that there is sometimes break apart around my nose and through my chin which there might be a little bit there right now anyway i just really have loved both of these but at the price point you cannot beat the l'oreal pro glow as an alternative this brush right here is the newer bk beauty mini foundation or contoured foundation brush this is such a good brush. When I saw this brush, I knew immediately what brush I had in my arsenal that it reminded me of. But what I love using this brush for is contouring my nose. I have never been able to do that. It is really hard for somebody that has unsteady hands to be able to draw lines down their nose and blend them out so that they look normal. Well, this brush eliminates the need to have to do that. It does that by me utilizing the very fine angle that is right here across the top of the bristles. So I will go in with my brush and I'll kind of load it across the top of those bristles. What I will do is I will turn this the wrong way to begin with and I'm gonna just brush it and I use a little bit of product to begin with because if I use too much in the beginning, it's gonna get out of hand. I'll just brush this down my nose on each side and then lay down the product. Go ahead and brush it across the tip because you wanna make sure that you're shortening your nose a little bit too. When you feel like that is built up where you want it to be, you know, whether you want your nose to look a lot thinner or whether you just want a little bit of contouring, then you go in and now you're gonna buff and you're gonna buff towards the middle of your nose and then you're going to buff really well down the side of your nose because you don't want it to look dark and muddy on the side of your nose this makes it easy to blend and then you have your nose just a little bit contoured and like i said i don't do a lot of contouring normally on my nose but when i found this brush i was super excited about it but i did find this brush right here at ulta not very long ago this brush is called the precision foundation brush now, as you're looking at it from the side you can see that they are really close in size and then in the front they are really close in shape so if you don't have the money to go ahead and buy the bk beauty brush you might think about picking this one up at ulta and when they have their sales they're on even cheaper all right from fenty beauty in a little ornament style packaging had come out this gloss from their gloss bombs and this one is called hologram beautiful gloss i love this gloss it's one of those that just kind of transforms your lipstick or whatever you're wearing into a three-dimensional look it has reflex of gold in it, of peach and of pink, a little bit of purple in there. It's just really beautiful. And putting it on top of lipstick makes your lipstick just look absolutely gorgeous. And I said I was gonna go ahead and buy an extra one of these and I decided not to. And that was because the day that I was suggesting this to you, I think I found a really dead on dupe. And that is in the Sephora collection, the Glossed Glosses. This one is called Wild. That's the name of the gloss itself. And this one is so close. The subtle difference though in the two of them is the one from Fenty Beauty has the under glow of gold 
I don't know how else to put that. It, the base of it is kind of a goldish. And then the one from Sephora collection is pink. So that's what the difference in the two. So either one is absolutely stunning, but when they're on your lips, they look identical. Really, really beautiful. I love both of them. And I don't think I need to go out and buy another tube of the Fenty Beauty at $20 or however much it is now because I got one for 10 out of the Sephora collection. Another one that I was so excited to find. I could not believe I stumbled across this one because Merit Beauty has some of the prettiest blushes. These are balm blushes and they're in a really cute little delivery system. You can use this on your lips or your cheeks. And it is just really easy, really fast to be able to use it and put it on. This one's called Cheeky. I love the formula of them. They're very balm-like, like I said, but the price is kind of steep on them. They're quite a bit, but I was playing around with all of my makeup one day as I had that Merit out. And I found that this one from Ulta Beauty called Too Cheeky for Lips and Cheeks. And I can't remember, this color is called Mood. <laughs> And this is almost exactly, almost identical in color. It, it has a little bit more pigment in it than the one from Merit does. But I will say that I love both of them so much. And I do think that the one from Ulta is just a bit more matte, but I did like that because the one from Ulta seems to last through the day a lot longer than the one from Merit. Just a little bit longer not like you know a huge difference but i'm telling you both of those work so well and again you can use this for lips and cheeks same as you can for merit i thought this was a great dupe as well another one that i do really really love is the buxom liners these are the uh, powerline plumping lip liner and I don't know if any of you picked up any of these during the 21 days of beauty, but they have this angle on them and they're just so easy to work with. And I really like them. This one's called Dangerous Dolly. Of course, it's a mob and I just fell in love with it. They're great to either line your lips with or completely fill in. Beautiful color, doesn't dry out your lips like some lip liners can. Not stiff to put on, just really creamy and yummy. I love that about it. But I also did find this one called Addiction. Actually, that's the color. These are from Rimmel. This is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. Now, why I was really impressed with this, not only do I feel like Yes, it is a dead-on color dupe. Yes, the formula is creamy just like it. I feel like the one from Rimmel lasts a little longer. I don't know why that is, except for maybe the formula is just a little bit less creamy. I'm not sure. But I also love that angle that they have on the one from Buxom. They have it here on the one from Rimmel as well. And I just, I think that's such a great way to keep control of your lip line. I was so excited that I found that. Those, both of those colors are right on. They're so much less expensive than the ones from Buxom. Just a really beautiful alternative if you're looking for lip liners that you like as much as Buxom. Then I'll round off the video by sharing with you this lipstick dupe from MAC. MAC is one of my very favorite lipstick companies, has been forever. This one is called Brave. I know that many of you wear Brave, a lot of you. It's what I have on today, along with the Buxom and then the Fenty. I have it on this side, and then on this side I have the alternatives or the dupe products. So Brave, again, goes with all of these that we actually have on. Very beautiful, brighter, rosy color, so pretty. I love the color Brave because it's kind of a soft satin color too. And you know, MAC lipsticks are creamy, they're wonderful whether they're matte or whether they're their sheer formulas. And they're just ones that are cult classics for everybody. But I think I found really, really darn close. And that is in the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. And this color is number 460 Blushing Mauve pretty sure that I found one that is really, really close. Now, I will tell you the difference here though. The one blushing mob seems to be a cream formula, whereas Brave seems to be more of a matte formula. And that's gonna make a tiny bit different of difference in the way that it comes across, unless you have a gloss on top of it, and then you're never gonna be able to tell the difference. The formula of the Super Lustrous lipsticks, if you've never had any from Revlon, they're fabulous. Maybelline and Revlon just did the original lipsticks just 
so so good i mean you couldn't ask for better lipsticks unless you're looking into high-end and i really don't think it's necessary to go purchase a high-end lipstick when we have so many beautiful formulas and beautiful colors l'oreal has great formulas as well but i really do love the formula of the revlon just one of those ones that gets a big old thumbs up from me as far as you know being able to dupe it out and find you know different alternatives at the drugstore so that is all of them today. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these. I love bringing them to you and I love being able to share things that are affordable. They're that good and we love them because they are that good. Let me know, like I said in the comment section of any new dupes that you may have heard of that I need to know about because that's really important to me. Also, I'm gonna scooch back just a little bit, let you take a look at my sweater. I'm not gonna get up today because I am still in quite a bit of pain, but I will put up a picture of it right here. This is a kind of a medium weight sweater, so as we're getting a little bit colder each day, it just is one of those ones that's gonna keep you warm and cozy. Because it is tunic length, if you wanna wear it with leggings, I do have mine on with leggings today, you can do that. Or if you want to dress it down with some jeans, or if you wanna wear it with a skirt, it'd even be really pretty, really dressed up with a skirt too. I love the detailing that's around the collar. I also really like the button detailing on it. I just think that it elevates it with all the different details that they've put on it and it has several different colors. There's my dragonfly, and I um, have the matching earrings that go with it. This comes as a set. This is abalone, and it's been one of my favorites that I've had for years and years, and pull it out every now and again because I forget about it, but it's really a pretty set. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of your time with me today. I hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I'd appreciate that. Hope you're all doing well and that everything's going good for you. Take care of yourselves and come back around really soon in my next video. Love you much, friends. Goodbye.